Hello and welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this episode, we're going to see how to shorten our work time for cut detection using Nuendo and Pro Tools. And we're going to combine what Nuendo has as automatic cut detection tool and Pro Tools by default, it does not have this automatic cut detection. And we're going to export the cut detected marker track from Nuendo and import it in Pro Tools. So it's going to be a few steps process the first is that we have a video imported in Nuendo and I am making sure that it starts exactly at one hour as it starts in Pro Tools at one hour as well. There you go. So in Nuendo, since we're going to export a MIDI file from this project, we are going to use a MIDI track with a little bit of MIDI information, just one note to make sure that a MIDI track is there to export MIDI file. Otherwise, uh, it will say no MIDI track detected to export. And we're going to process now. We're going to go to project video cut detection panel. And here we have uh, options, position marker and cycle marker. Always make sure to have a position marker since cycle markers may not be detected quite well in other softwares. Position marker most definitely will. And uh, we'll just say analyze video and we wait. Once it finishes analyzing, we will add markers into a new marker track and then export a MIDI file. Now that it has completed the cut detection, we will make sure that it's position markers and add markers on a new marker track, which it did. Now, once it's done, we will select everything, hit P to make sure that the opening and the ending locators are in place. And since we start at one hour here and in Pro Tools, we start at one hour, it will be in sync. We just go to file, export, MIDI file, and we'll just say MIDI marker, MIDI marker, hit save. And if you have this at 480, make sure it's uh, 960. And uh, okay, the markers are now exported. We'll simply go to Pro Tools and locate the file, MIDI file, and import it into Pro Tools like that. And here we can just uh, say, okay, and there you go and we have our marker we'll just try to see if it's exactly on the grid here you go we are exactly on the grid there we'll try to see here are we exactly on the grid here and we are exactly on the grid and that's how we can import the marker from nuendo to pro tools saving us a lot of time obviously we can go here and uh, put an end marker hitting enter on the numpad and call uh, real end and that's how it is done Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in next video.